Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of my favorite Class A bunk motorhomes on the market today. This is a 2021 Integra Coach Vision XL Model 36A. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things why we love this motorhome and three reasons why we dislike it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World's Only Channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the 2021 Vision XL 36A. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. It's a little cold out, but you look fantastic. Thank you. Hey, guys, I missed you. Even though you guys have been seeing us every other day, yep. we have been off for two weeks for my daughter's wedding. So I did miss you guys. Well, Andrea's been off. I've been working. I'm excited. But kudos to Andrea for cramming in all those videos for two weeks. We did that over like a three day period. Uh, kudos to you, Andrea. You Thank did a fantastic you. job. Let's begin. Oh, and here's a picture of Andrea bing, with her daughter at the wedding. <laughs> Let's begin. Model is 36A, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet, eight inches. This is the Vision XL. I love this floor plan, it's super awesome and nice. We did not option this one with the full body paint. Full body paint is an option. The 2020 video that you saw of this one, bing, right there, did have full body paint. This one did not, so it is a smaller price tag. Even though this one's more expensive than that one, because it's still a 2021. I know it gets a little confusing. The biggest window in the RV industry, right there, 120 inches. I love what Integra does with the headlights and the grill. Everything, it looks fantastic. Coming down the side, we do have chrome mirrors right here with cameras integrated in your left side, right side, and reverse. And again, because this is 2020, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower, 468 foot-pounds of torque. And then check out these tires, Andre, they're Michelin's. 255-80R 22.5s. I love those. And you know we got Alcoa rims. It's starting to rain, Matt. Now oh, we'll hurry up. Coming down the side, we do have a little bit of storage right here. Slam latch doors, oh. fiberglass, not aluminum. Because this is an Integra coach, we do have the two year warranty, three year structural. Very nice. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And then right here, we do have a new that's a door nice, handle. Yeah, that's better than it used to be. And we have a power awning with LED lights. Also, while that's coming out, this does have the Easy Drive Elite system which is a computer balanced drive shaft system uh, and shock absorbers. So this will make it one of the better riding class A gas motor homes on the market. And then check out that awning. Very little. Little awning because, because of the bunks, you know. Cute pattern. Yep, nice pattern. That's the power awning with LED lights. Coming down the side here, we do have a little bit more storage. Okay. okay. Nice big TV wow. on the outside. Insignia, sound bar, Furion DVD player, all that good stuff, sound system. And then check that out. Nice. Very nice. And I see they have really nice frameless windows. Yep, throughout. And a little bit more storage. This motorhome gives you a ton of storage, Andrea. Absolutely. Okie dokie. Mmm, I can smell Sonny's barbecue, can't you? <laughs> all the way over from over here. Yep, right there. I love this. There's your battery tray and propane, but I love how they put the battery tray on a more ride tray so it's easy to get in and out. And then there's your propane quick connect. And we will have all the details and specifications. Lengths, widths, specs, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who's watching on TV. And then a little bit more storage right there. And then right here's your water heater. Coming around the back, you can see you have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Really nice headlight design, 5,000 pound hits. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. You do have a backup camera right there. Also, we have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and oh, take a look. Oh, Matt, you're not walking on it, honey, because it's I raining. Know. Hold on now. 
Well, as you can see right there, it is slippery when wet. You have a nice one-piece fiberglass roof, two AC units right there, King Air digital antenna, Max Air power fan right there, and then you can see right there that it is prepped for solar. Hold on, Matt, take your time, it's wet, it's raining. Here we go now. Okay, you're coming to your last step now. That's a good ladder. Oh, great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Especially when it's raining. Absolutely. And I do want to let everybody know about uh, the other night's video. Bing! Uh, you can meet me, Will, and Andrea this year at the Tampa RV Show. Make sure you check out that video to figure out all the details. And we are doing a meet and greet party type of Yay. thing. Yay! Hope to meet you there. Right over there, we got a little bit of more storage. Over here. Uh, nice, easy to access. Black and gray tump. De dump, dump, tank. dump. <laughs> uh, gasoline filled right there. More storage. Oh. And then look at this. That looks better. Very nice. Very clean, very organized, very crisp. I love it. I really do like the doors on this Vision XL. Yep. Got Double dump. Tanks. Double dump because there's two full baths. No. Oh, where? Two full baths. Yes, ma'am. Wow. And then check out. Check this out. More storage. This is the other side of that. The other nice side. Storage. Right there. Right there. Here's your Cummins on in 5500 generator. And then here, it's a little bit more storage right there. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Well, Andrea, and it has a new farmhouse interior. Yay! The outside of the Vision XL looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Cargo carrying capacity, Matt. Um, 4,709 pounds. Wow. Oh, here we go, everybody. Very nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, the slides in. The slides in. Oh wow, in. that's a lot of room. Look yep. at this. Wow, plenty of room, guys even to get into the bathroom here. Here's your first full bath. There's the master bedroom. The bed is accessible. And another bathroom back there. Wow, this is a great floor plan. Yes. Now, Andrea. Yes. While the slide outs are coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. Now more than ever, please leave, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Vision XL, three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote our videos. And Andrea, yes, we're this close to ninety thousand subscribers. I'm so excited! And um, it's we, amazing. We can't, oh we my can't gosh. thank you guys enough. You guys, it's so crazy. It, it really is. Just thank you. Thank you so much. We love all thank of you. you. Let's begin up here. Up oh, front seats here. are already swiveled. Yes, both seats do swivel. Both seats are power seats this year, okay? Oh. Up front here, we have your auto leveling right here. It's where the buttons would go. We got your push up, shade up and down, generator start. This is a new Ford V8 engine. You're able to see your miles per gallon and everything. You have your camera screen selector right up, up here and everything. And Andre, you want to sit my co captain seat? Sure. Um, oh, I want to swivel. Very easy to but swivel it's around. Easy to swivel around, guys. And look, big improvement from the 2021 with a lot more sturdier desk. Yes, I love that. Definitely. And I really like that over here. I have a cup holder somewhere for like a little iPad, cell phone. You got electrical outlet. You got a shade here, privacy shade. Yep. Very nice. Yep. And then you got a little bit of storage under the bed. We got some under the bed. Yep. We got cabinetry up here. Yep. And then we have another shade here. I believe is that motorized? Yes, that's okay. motorized. And there is a place for the pedestal table there. For when the seat does swivel. Then we do have a bunk over the cab right here. One of my favorite bunks in RV manufacturing. Holds 750 pounds. You can show it up there. Very also, good. here's where the ladder is. Also, this like oh, a, a support. Oh, look, that's new. I don't remember them doing that last year. Oh, uh, they did. Did yeah. they? Yep. That makes it a lot more comfortable. Yep, for sure. 
and then it's real easy and nice to go up and then there is a safety feature when you get it plugged in that it won't come down and did i say it held 750 pounds yes you did sure does so nice i can say it twice <laughs> And then you just plug it in. I like Perfect. the lights above the slide. Over here in the living room area, look at the cabinetry. The farmhouse look. This is what people have been asking for. This is what people have been waiting for. And finally, it's here. I love the supports. You can have the cabinets and keep them open. Very nice. Andrea, how do you like the... I've already... Yeah, we've done one of these before. And yep. I already did not like those valances. Well, I wanted to see if you would change your answer. Uh, no. <laughs> I like I'm them. pretty consistent. I think they look great. We have our, M, uh, not MCD, but our slow rise, daytime shades and privacy shades. Very nice. I just want to point this out real quick. Sorry. Yep. I just want to show this color of the wall here uh -huh. with, the tr with the slide. It actually looks really good. Yep. And then over here, we have our theater seating. Oh yeah. Remote holder, cup holders right there. Oh, and with the push of a button. Oh, Andrea. Oh yeah, and then look at this. Here's what I love even more. It's not the fact that they give you the theater seating. It's the fact that they give it to you directly across from the television right there. Absolutely. We will show you that TV in a few minutes when Andrea covers the kitchen. But first, it's time for the dinette. So the dinette here, decent sized dinette, good elevation. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. You do have your windows right there. And then there is seat belts over here. And let's see. Same type of storage where we have to lift everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. It's my favorite type <laughs> of storage. Yep, can you show underneath? Yep. Perfect. And that's on both sides. Yes, ma'am. And look, everybody, see the, the mirror here with the look farmhouse the wall. wall? Yeah. Very cute. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is $174,422 MSRP. Sale price, we have it 32% off to one nineteen nine nine five. Wow. That is a phenomenal price for a 2021. But Andrea, it doesn't matter what the price is, we can always get everybody in America an even better price than that. And we're doing something new. Do you know what we're doing yet? Yes. Do you? I think. What are we doing? We can call, you can text, you can email. No, 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 we're doing something new. Okay, tell me. All you guys have to do is go to Max RV Reviews. We've simplified it, folks. All, you know why? You know why? Because look, somebody's calling me right now and I cannot pick up the phone because we're making a video. So all you got to do is go to MaxRVReviews.com. Scroll down, you'll see a contact me form. There's three choices. Choice number one, if you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, Click that first box, fill out the form, and somebody from my team will get back to you ASAP to get you the absolute best price. Option two, if you're close to buying but you still have some few questions for me, Andrea, or Will, click that second box and all, all three of us monitor that email and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. And if you need us to call you, we will do that. That way I'm not missing your calls. Or option three, if you're really not ready to buy yet, no big deal. We do have that third option, and we do check that email as well. But Andrea, it doesn't matter where you are in the buying experience. If you're at step one, two, or three, what's the one thing that they all have in common? They sold on Matt's RV reviews. And we'll get them the best price in America. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea. I'm so out of it. <laughs> let's continue the video. Well, I don't like to uh, script this stuff, so I like I, to see if... Well, yeah, he's, I like he's to see, surprising me this I, morning. No, I like to see if Andrea can pick up on my cues. Oh, so, my goodness. Hey, you did great. Thank you. Okay, Okay, uh, so up right, front there. Yeah, let's start with this here. We got a, an extra cabinet up here. Yep. Because you can never have enough storage. And over here, I like this. They gave you a window. Uh -huh. Do you have both? Oh, look, they did give you both shades right here. Oh, very nice. That's nice. Usually there's blinds right there. Yes. I love the solid surface countertop. 
We got, um, oh, there's a little DVD, I guess. Yep, for the TV that's right there. And we have Rage Wars. One, two, two and three. Very I nice. love the LED lights around. Yes. Gives it that cozy look. Sponges. Uh -huh. And down here, oh, you got a shelf here. Yep. Trash can space. And, and then show us. Oh, sorry. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Nice big, big sink. sink. Yep. How do you like the uh, faucet thing? It's it's okay. I like it. Yeah. You um, know what they were doing in some travel trailers? So we just got done filming. Happens. Yep. It, you push up. I'll show you. But uh, we just oh. got done filming some travel trailers, Andrea. And what they were doing is they hit. This was all black, mm -hmm. and then this part was chrome. Oh, and it's got an extension too. Yeah, but okay. it didn't look. I didn't, it didn't even look notice right. that. Cool. So behind the TV right there, look at that huge storage. I like that they give you that right here. Yes, ma'am. So you don't lose any uh, cabinets. And we got the... Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that was heavy. We got a cabinet up here. Yes, ma'am. And then we got a confection microwave. Oh, no. Just a microwave. Sorry. Yes, regular microwave. Regular microwave. Very big. Size. Three burner cooktop. The glass cover Furion. Mm-hmm naturally and the furion oven Ooh. nice store here yes ma'am and i love this look at this humongous residential whirlpool that runs off your inverter let me try unlocking it that might help wow wow, wow look at that that's humongous that is awesome that's a fridge that is an rv fridge for show wow let's continue all right it's time for the toilet test part one Oh, your favorite shower, man. First shower, radius shower, okay? It's a good shower, it gets the job done. It's a radius shower. We all know how I feel about radius showers, but here's the good news. If you're buying, if you're the one paying for this motorhome, it's not gonna be your shower. So we got some you'll have cabinets the, uh, here for linens. Yep, you'll have the shower in the back. Two drawers, and another cabinet down there. That's, I like this. Yep, and then we got some medicines right there. A little bit of this right there, a little sink. Matt, this is actually a good size for a second bathroom. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. You guys got to remember, most of the times in this spot, it is just a half bath. Right. You're 100% right, Andrea. Uh, porcelain. Hmm. What say you? Hmm. I don't know. Here's what I'll say. If this was the only bathroom, it would fail. But since it is the half bath, it might pass. I'm going to wait until we do the other uh -oh, one. Oh, that's new. <laughs> yeah, no, it's new because... Um, and is there a pocket door in the bathroom? Yeah. It depend. It honestly depends on how the other one is. Because if the other one's good, then this one's good. If the other one's bad, then this one's bad. Okay. So here in the bunk area, we got TVs right there and right there. I love how both bunk beds have the windows there and there. Uh, very interesting, very nice. And, you know, let me... Yeah, I was going to say, hop in there. Let's see how much space you have. Hey, I'm five foot five-ish. So, yeah, pretty good. And you do have privacy curtains that will close right here on the bunk. Correct, correct. Into the master bedroom. Pocket Look at this. door. Yes. In the bedroom. Oh. Prepped for oh. a combo washer wow. dryer. Wow. Now to get that in a bunkhouse unit, it's super rare. So I like how they're able to accommodate you. We have drawers there. Nice big drawers. Got four of them down there. Oh yeah. Nice okay. Big double drawers. Okie dokie storage behind the TV. I love how they do that. Me too. It is so nice. And a wardrobe. Yes, ma'am. With the little drawer there. Uh huh. Then behind is a king size bed. You want to climb up there? King size bed. I love the headboard, what they got going on. Very cute. Yep. Those are the little lights. Hold it down. Bing. All right. Nice cabinetry. Yep. And you can just show it. Very nice. And as you guys can see, you have windows on both sides for cross ventilation. Yeah. And look, you got a little nightstand here, which is very cute. Oh, with I didn't a little even cabinet. See that. I didn't even see that. Oh, under oh, the bed. Let's go under here real quick. And there's one on the same one on the other side. Okay, so we do have a little bit of storage right there. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And then you got a nightstand there and a pocket door going into this bathroom. Okay, now this one I'm talking about. 
With this shower, yes, yes, yes. Again. Oh, that's a good size. I'm totally fine with that radius shower because that is not the one I'd be using. I'd be using this one. It's a 30 by 36 shower. You got the head right here, you got the sky dome. Plenty of space, plenty of height, everything. Trey, you want to show the medicine cabinet? Yes. Look at this. Mm. This is very spacious back here. It sure is. I am shocked. You got a cabinet under here. I like that you have counter space here. And you got more cabinetry here. Oh you can yeah, see very that. nice. Toilet paper holder. I like that there's a window in here. All very, right. very nice. Okay, so look at this. You see how the uh, toilets Slow are an little, angle? Yep. That's a good thing. Oops. That ain't, it's all about the angle of a dangle. Andre, <laughs> this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Which then by default makes that one a prime pooping position. Boom! Now listen, that one, again, that one was freaking on the line, and there is an extra credit question, and the extra credit question was, is this a prime pooping position? So because this one was, that one was, if this one, if I would have been like this, they both would have failed. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now wait, before everybody leaves, before you leave, it's now time we're going to give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, you ready for me to go first? Sure. You ready? I love these bunk beds. I hate how they don't fold up. Yes, I they agree. They should 100% fold up so it could double up as an office wardrobe area. Yes, absolutely. That's one. Okay, so I I am just, I don't know, you know, I, I, I really don't like the lack of pantry for food in here. Okay. Um, okay. No. People that have families, they're gonna they're gonna have a lot of food. You yep. know what I mean? And if it was us in here, I don't know where we'd put all our food. Well, it's one of those things where, yeah. with you know, you if you want the two full bathrooms, right? You have to give up something. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, true. it's just you can only put so much in in so much space. Yes. Um, I was going the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> So that's number two. And number three, I'm going to combo it. Speaking of lack of storage, I know a lot of manufacturers will put drawers under yep. the bunks. I noticed Which that they too. didn't do. But I feel like that's not big enough for a third dislike. So another third dislike, which is going to be kind of relative to what you were saying, Andrea, is this small awning here. You know, I like this awning. I like the color. It's, my, it's a good type of awning. It pinches. But be, again, because of that bunk room, taking up so much of the space it means you have a little awning area yes great so that's three things we don't like about this motorhome now it's time for three things we love about it andre do you have one up here i do all right let me do this i gotta say i'm really i love the cozy feel of this oh yeah when i walk in here it almost it feels like home to me yep. you know what i mean i i love how it feels i love the the cabinetry and the interior colors it's very warm and cozy. Yeah, no, so no. It's a very good effect. And sometimes you don't always get that when you walk into an RV. Yep, nope, to add to that, yeah, the farmhouse look, I feel like uh, they did it very, very, very well. So that's one. Do you have a second one? Um, no. Okay, nope, uh, I will go then. I love the big refrigerator and the bunk beds and the two full baths. Oh, and to add, I love how the theater seats is directly facing the sofa. Again, you it's mean directly facing the TV. Yes. Again, it's kind of a negative because you don't have a lot of storage because of all these features. But if your goal is to sleep a lot and to be comfortable and to travel well, you know, in this gas motorhome, this is going to check off a lot of boxes with just one of some of the practicalities of the floor plan. And then number three is outside. You know what? I'm going to combo number three. I love the 22.5 inch tires, Andrea. Yes. And I love the option for the full body paint. So, and let's come around the side over here as well. Because if price point matters to you and you want the luxuries just by keeping the price ten dollars or $15,000 cheaper, you get this. Whereas if you want the nice look then you get the full body paint which both look fantastic by the way so that's number three and then i'm gonna make it number four 
however you want to call it. This wet bay is the best situation. I love the way it is. I love how you have the toilet paper holder, your low point drains, everything's easy to read. You got your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yep. Oh, pa paper towel holder. There yep. you go. Yep, very clean, very nice. And now some people might be saying, but there's no 50 amp power cord reel. That's fine on this price point of a motor. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please make sure you go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three boxes that works for you. And either myself or somebody from my team will get back to you ASAP to either get you pricing on this unit or, um, answer some questions about it if you're seriously looking at a motorhome like this in a few seconds i'm gonna have two videos right here of direct competition to this model that i really think you should check out and uh, and if you do plan on going to in store to a dealership make sure you get your matte money on mattsrvreviews.com print out the form and bring it in that way andrea we can get you the best price in america <laughs> andrea do you have anything you want to say of course Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Integra, they're a big fan of ours, so they watch our videos and they read your comments. So you guys, make sure you leave your feedback so we can change RV history. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks for watching. And Andrea, do you see those videos right next to you there? I sure do. Which one do you think they should check out? That Murata up top or the Bounder on the bottom? Um, the Bounder. Okay, if you if you want a little bit fancier, check out that Bounder. If you want a little bit cheaper, check out the Murata. Both are great products, by the way. Whatever one you like, we're here to help you. Watch more videos, smash that thumbs up button, and Andrea, we'll see you next time.